interesting information here, so let's get straight into it. Let's start okay. with the characters. There are two protagonists, Jason and Lucia, but yep. what's interesting, and I didn't even notice it while watching the trailer, is that Jason's name isn't mentioned, so Yo. we're still not one. Damn, that is true though. Oh my god, oh, bruh. Yeah, that is right. That's a good point. We never really find out in the trailer. They never called him Jason. Yo, what if Rockstar Games call him Jasony? What if they change that thing is gender though? Hey! Hey! 100% sure if that will be his name in the final game. Next, we have Man. Stephanie G, the correction social worker, and also the old lady, also known as Hammer Karen from the Hamlet Neighborhood Watch. Obviously, you need trailer number two right now immediately. Like and subscribe if you agree, because we need to know whether he's gonna be called Jason or Jay Sony. Hopefully, they don't give him Bud Light, and hopefully, he doesn't uh, or they don't change his gender. Though. The Jason and Lucia are based on the real life Bonnie and Clyde duo, and the old lady is also inspired by real life virus social media footage of a Karen True. holding two hammers in her hands. Moving on, there's Rudy, who also appeared in social media footage from the trailer, but unfortunately is no longer alive. And there's Shanice. Oh, the oh latter my. was mentioned in the- Oh my god, okay. Oh shit! Yeah, rest in peace, rest in peace. We also have Shanice, uh, Shanice- <laughs> So that's Shanice Strong Independent, okay. September 2022 leaks, where dialogue lines were found, and one of was NPC talking about her social media video. Going further, it gets really interesting because it seems that law enforcement in GTA 6 will be much more extensive than in GTA 5. At the so. moment, we know about 10 units, specifically the Kelly County Police Department, Leonard County Sheriff's Department, Leonida Department of Corrections, Leonida Highway Patrol, Ocean Beach Police Department. I truly do hope that we got like at least six star wanted level. I wouldn't even mind if you have like eight star one in level yeah. you know what i mean because uh there, there gotta be a mission in this game there's gotta be okay forget about it there gotta be 20 star one in level and there needs to be a mission where you know we find out the hacker at, who actually leaked the lucia burna initially all the way back in september of 2022 we need that mission come on guys like why why are you doing this we need that mission we need the mission and when the hacker leaks uh the gameplay uh you know hacks the rockstar games leaks the lucia burna and the gameplay he gets that 20 star wanted level we need that make that happen rockstar games make that happen bro and release the uh release the hacker hashtag free the hacker okay like it like the video if you agree Additionally, there are the Port Gellhorn PD, Vice City PD, Vice Dale PD, Vice Dale Sheriff's Office, and the United States Coast Guard. We certainly won't be complaining about a lack of diversity when it comes to law enforcement in the upcoming game. Most likely, each of them will have a variety of different characters and vehicles. True, now, true, let's discuss true. the story details. The trailer depicts Lucia as a prison inmate within Leonida's Department of Corrections. She oh, eventually damn. leaves prison, and according to the game's official artwork, she has an ankle monitor. It is possible mm. that she is on temporary parole. Damn, bro. Like, why y'all suckers wanna keep her chained up, though? Like, that's not fair, dog. Like, let her carry the cake around. Let her carry the bonnet around the GTA 6 map. Let her be free. Let her be strong, independent. Let her walk around the streets, damn it. Without the ankle, bro. Can a brother, can, as a brown man, I demand Lucia to be free in the game, bro. Like, come on, bro. Nah, bro. She meets up with Jason at an unknown point in time, and together, they rob Uncle Jack's liquor, which appears to be a convenience store. There's also an interesting tidbit here about the Florida Joker, around whom there was- Uncle Jackson can suck on these nuts, kid! <laughs> Quite a controversy after the trailer, as he demands money from Rockstar Games for using his likeness. That man covered in tattoos is featured on Megamundo News Television. It is said that his tattoos led to the arrest of an unknown individual. The tattoo on his forehead reads impenitent, which is an improper spelling of impenitent. For fans yeah. of realistic gra- I mean, my guy couldn't even get their tattoo words correctly, bro. They need to fire that tattoo artist. Whoever made that, you need to ask for the money back, son. And that, that Joker, that Florida Joker guy, guys, everybody gather around, okay? We gotta have an emergency meeting. A quick run! Emergency meeting quickly, okay? Because that guy, that Joker guy came out, that in real life Florida Joker guy, he came out and he's threatening Rockstar Games that he's gonna sue. He says that his lawyers will be doing the talking, his lawyers will do the barking, and uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And he's saying that he needs two million dollars. Two million! Here I'm sitting, 
I'm sitting here, I'm asking for two pennies only, but that's the guy asking for two million dollars from Rockstar Games. Do you think brother deserved the money? Yeah or nay? I wanna know where you guys at. Uh, you in the Joker camp or you in uh, Rockstar camp or I mean not in the Rockstar camp? I, I mean dad, let me know where you at. Graphics and games, GTA 6 certainly won't lag behind the competition. In fact, based on the trailer alone, we already know that the game will look phenomenal. And the document confirms this. Ray trace global illumination and reflections have been noticed mixed with screen space reflections. Moreover, buildings in the game will have parallax interiors. It's obvious that not every room in the buildings will be enterable. So to enhance oh, the man. visual experience, Rockstar has added this feature, so that when looking through windows of the buildings, they appear to have three-dimensional interiors. We, we actually did hear that 70% of the buildings are gonna be enterable, uh, and that came, uh, yeah, it's a rumor first of all, but also we heard this from, you know, that Rockstar North director, uh, Garbud, I believe, Aaron Garbud, his son leaked the gameplay into his friend, and his friend leaked it to everybody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that sucker said that 70% of the buildings are gonna be in trouble. But he also did say that this game is gonna be coming out in 2024, which we know was not real, was not true. The leak was real, the, the overview of the map was real, but that was not real, so I'm not sure, man. Maybe, maybe that's true, maybe that's not true. We also have a mention of subsurface scattering. It simulates semi-translucent objects in which light rays enter, bounce around, and then exit in a different place. Clearly, the vegetation has seen significant improvements, and there is a lot of evidence of this in the trailer. GTA uh -huh. 6 takes a huge leap forward compared to GTA 5 in this regard. The smoke now appears to be volumetric, and we also see the implementation of volumetric fog in the game. As I mentioned in my previous video, the water physics and its appearance have also improved significantly. While the water in GTA- Also interesting little thought because I have seen a lot of seconds say that die like gta 6 graphics don't even look good bro they don't even it's not even an upgrade guys listen i i think i figured it out after watching this video obviously you are watching this video as well right the gameplay that you're seeing in the background is modded gta 5 gameplay it looks amazing i got no complaints uh in gta 5 still to this day looks very good but try playing gta 5 because i played it and i looked at the trailer i'm like there's a massive difference i i couldn't even play gta 5 for too long because the game doesn't look that good after seeing gta 6 trailer and, and six that are saying that you know gta 6 trailer or graphics doesn't look too good damn bro like i i think i think i figured it out it's probably due to the fact that we have seen so much gta 5 modded gameplay in videos that Sega's believe that this is like the real this is how gta 5 deadass looks like but that's not true though this is modded and uh, this is upgraded this is uh, graphics uh, over 9000 you feel what i'm saying uh so yeah if you're gonna compare this with gta 6 yeah like not gonna be too crazy of a difference obviously it's gonna uh, the trailer had a lot of npcs it was a lot more diverse uh, uh there was a lot more going on uh but y you feel what i'm saying right GTA 5 wasn't terrible, and unlike GTA 4, we could move underwater where there was also plant life and various easter eggs. Now water will play such a significant role in the upcoming game that both the water itself and the underwater areas are expected to look much better. Next, we have the physics for hair, and also for necklaces and earrings. Rockstar has already demonstrated its ability to create excellent hair physics in RDR 2 for both characters and horses. Another noticeable improvement is the NPC and traffic density, which oh, has been enhanced. Yeah. It's undeniable that this was lacking in GTA 5. A volumetric oh, cloud time. system will be implemented and improved compared It lacks even in Cyberpunk, it lacked in Saints Row as well, Bruh. and they shut down their studio after that. It literally lacks in every modern day game. We need more NPCs as a brown man, I demand more NPCs. I demand games to be alive, okay? As a brown man, I demand online to be free as well. I demand games to not be $70. They can be $70, but no microtransactions. Games should be complete at launch. Like and subscribe if you agree. And I I have a doubt in my mind that... I have doubts in my mind that we're gonna see that many. I don't think we're gonna see that many NPCs. Thoughts, guys? ...compared to RDR2. And the same goes for volumetric lighting, which appears to be more advanced than in the previous Rockstar huge production. 
Focusing on the technical aspects of the trailer, we have some interesting information here. Fidelity FX Super Resolution is most likely being used. Many shots are at 1440p, sometimes below that. Ray traced global illumination appears to be in use, as well as ray tracing reflections mixed with screen space reflections. Ray traced shadows are not utilized. Instead, traditional shadow maps are used. Car yeah, this is coming from Digital Foundry, bro. My PlayStation 5 will be sent to heaven, ladies and gentlemen. It will be permanently gone after playing this game, and right now there are a lot of seconds. We used to meme this. We used to meme this before the trailer reveal. But right now I'm seeing a lot of seconds saying that GTA 6 is most probably gonna be 30 FPS on Series X and PS5. Bruh. And maybe 60 FPS on PS5 Pro. And it kind of makes sense. We were joking about it. But after seeing the trailer, seconds are actually talking about it. A lot of seconds are saying. I want to know your thoughts. You think that's possible? Your character name. rendering seems to take a more stylistic approach to realism rather than aiming for photorealism. The performance target seems to be 1440p, 30 FPS. Returning to the topic of graphics, they mentioned a few interesting details in the trailer. It was noted that RDR2's sky mask texture was used. It's interesting to me whether this is a temporary thing or if Rockstar has decided that it can't be improved upon and is sticking with the texture that already looked great in their previous game. Next, we have improved vehicle interiors, which was expected. I'm curious about how the functionality of vehicle interiors will look, whether we'll have more control over opening doors, trunks, and hoods. Jason and Lucia also have different heights, which may require them to adjust uh, wrong. wrong! We do not know the name of Jason. We don't know if it's Jason or Jasony. Uh, so yeah, we don't know, bro. The vehicle's seat when switching. Leaks have shown that each of the seats will be adjustable, as well as other elements inside vehicles. All of this was happening in developer mode, so it's unclear how much control the player will have over these aspects. Attention true, to detail true, true. is something that many have noticed while watching the trailer. Simply pausing the trailer at any moment reveals the abundance of details present. Yeah. From what we can gather at this point from the document, birds can sit on power lines, a detail also seen in the leaked footage. Oh my oh, god! Shit. Oh, shit. oh my god! Yo, that's the first time I'm finding this out though. No second ever pointed that out to me. And also realistically, when do you think we're gonna get the trailer number two? Do you think it's gonna be around summertime? Do you think it's gonna be before? Or do you think it's gonna be by the ooh, end ooh, of uh, 2024? because the game is not gonna come out uh, early 2025 because if the trailer number two come does not come out by summer of 2024 that that's when i'll i'll be uh, a little bit cynical that's when i'll be a little bit pessimistic uh, and that's when i will start to lose hope that this game is gonna come out early 2025 because right now everybody thinks that's gonna come out early 2025 <laughs> And what if they delay it to late 2025? And what if they delay it to 2026? What if they're truly meant to come out in late 2025, but they actually delay it for early 2026? Bruh. Yeah. You, you never know, guys. You never know. Jet streams have been improved. Airplanes now have condensation trails. The gradient from dry to wet damn. sand where the waves wash up is very... Yeah, brother taking, like, damn, there are, like, a lot of sisters out here, guys. Uh, stay focused. Guys, come on, man. Like, don't don't be looking at the sisters like that. Come on, guys. Be realistic and detailed. Each NPC has a different body type. Skin tone is wearing different clothes and is doing something totally different to anyone else. A woman is being sprayed with sunscreen at the beach. You can see at the beach an NPC passing a soda or beer bottle to another NPC. A muscular okay. guy on the beach checks his fitness tracker while running. Pedestrians can be seen walking their pets. <laughs> Yo, we had that Shimama as well. Man on the beach is wearing AirPods. NPCs have their own belongings, including bags, towels, coolers, sunglasses, drinks, sun cream bottles, phone models, etc. Everyone looks to be leaving footprints as they walk. And you can see the people running, kicking up sand as well. NPCs hanging out at the beach also have their feet covered with sand. Flip-flop physics. Jet skis can be seen at bay while a loading trailer for them can be seen attached to a lifeguard vehicle. Bits of seaweed are gathered across the beach. This ship is being on Man! see this is what i'm talking about this is rockstar games and this shot is just amazing not th this shot is amazing too but the last shot was absolutely amazing but i'm doubting that bro like that's <gasps> guys let's be real man how many times we've seen cgi trailers uh render trailer i know some of you it, it's not cgi yeah i agree let, let me finish let me finish i don't think this is a cgi trailer but also, how many times we've seen CGI trailers and games are always promising that uh, yeah, 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 the game is gonna be like this, the game, and the game's never like this, though. I, I don't know, man. I hope uh, for one time, for one time, we need one game, just one game that's good at launch, man. 
Please let this be the, the the best game, man. We need it. We need one game. We can. We always have nine out of ten games that are trash. Okay, let this be one of those games that's actually good, man. Like and subscribe if you're great. Loaded guys. and ships, yachts on the water like now actually move. Like a man can be seen with grills for the first time in a GTA game. NPC phones have fully functional cameras and display screens. Unlike those in 5, guardrails can now be deformed. Men are crawling out of a car crash during the news broadcast. A truck can be seen with water droplets on it. Looped wire clutter is attached near electric poles, similar to real- The next scene is about to come up, guys. We must stay focused, bro. Life urban areas. Lucia grips onto the frame of the- Hey, yo, what? Where's that scene, bro? Yo, hey, yo, you missed that scene, bro? Yo, yo! No way, he's not showing that scene? You know that the strip club scene? Yo, no way, bro. Ding, 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 ding. There was so much detail in that scene, bro. And you, how, how, how can you not have that? Vehicle. How come when you Jason don't have is that? drifting, Jason's vehicle drives over the curve once he drifts. Dust and leaves are picked up as he begins to speed away. Vehicle side mirrors now reflect what's in front of them. Another possible implementation of ray traced reflections. Holy. There are dusty handprints on the back of Jason's vehicle. Lucia's car seat moves when she shifts her weight while turning. Sweat can be seen on NPCs working out. Yeah, that's Tim the Tatman right there. A detail also seen in the leaked footage. There are also jiggle physics visible. There are muscle deformations <laughs> and wrinkles on clothing when characters move. The surface of the water is affected- Man, I don't think we've seen a, a game in the last, uh, like, five, I would say a little bit longer than, let's say, six years. I haven't seen a game in the last six years where a female character is looking like a female, you feel what I'm saying? Even Spider-Man 2, I got none bad to say other than the fact that it had a lot of that woke crap, right? I, The game story was amazing, but damn, bro, like, Mary Jane was- wasn't even looking like a girl no more. It was they they I don't even know like if you if you've seen her face in the game She doesn't even look real. She doesn't even look like a girl. She doesn't even look like a girl They made her they them they turned her they into they them. It's like they gave her 20 tons of uh, Bud light in before filming her shots in the game. Uh, obviously, that's not how it works They actually change. I mean, this is how it works, but they change the facial model uh, while developing the game But but like damn you feel what I'm saying so this feels like a breath of fresh air where people are looking like people actually and not like NPCs or more like they them and all that crap all that trash that's happening in the in the world i mean they can surely have stuff like that but it's but it's like every game main character is just not looking relatable they can have they them in the game and obviously this game is also gonna have they them and that's fine obviously it's part of the real world uh, but when every character especially ev every main character is like the downgrade version it's like damn so this game feels like a fresh air because breath of fresh air because i've seen a lot of uh uh journalists trying to ban this game a lot of cancellations happening uh, yeah this game needs to be canceled this game needs to be canceled uh because it got a lot of that burnout physics a lot of the jiggle physics as well i mean damn it's they're making the, the girls uh, look feminine they're making them feminine they're making them look like the way they look in real life simple as that did by wind the leeward side of the towering structure on the right reveals how calm the ocean surface is in comparison to other parts there are incandescent light bulbs the filament warms up and has a characteristic fade in and out appearance leds on the other yeah he's not gonna have the upcoming scene hand i know illuminate it, you know which one i'm talking about right? car lights in earlier vehicles do not light up like on and off switches they fade until the energy level reaches 100 percent it's something that many games Games fail to incorporate as part of realism. In one of the shots, you can see an NPC filling his car with gas. The clouds in the sky now appear to capture the city's lights, casting an illuminating glow upon them. Lucia's car seat has a sort of worn-out texture, with creases which is typically seen in old leather seats. The old mm -hmm. lady's fingers twitch when she holds the hammer. Pupil oh, dilation damn. returns from RDR2. Dust is kicked up in the air when Lucia kicks open. Holy, I was not. Damn, I'm like mind blown right now. Oh, in the door. There's a faulty street light in the donut burnout music video. The rednecks in Ponte has duct tape on the door handles. Tire deformation when Jason is driving the car. The passenger positioned towards the sidewalk swings the open door facing the road as a car passes by. He opens it just enough to ensure that the passing vehicle won't cause any damage to the door. The badge of the Grotti Cheetah is actually the old Grotti logo that was featured back in GTA San Andreas. It makes sense to use that logo because San Andreas takes place in the 90s and the Cheetah Classic is an 80s car. 
car. In the scene yeah. showing the overturned car, the police challenger exhibits a traffic advisor light bar at the back, and in the scene where the bikers are taking control, a Dodge Charger is equipped with the Florida-style double light bar on the front. Same as it can be seen in the leaked footage, you can see three people walking together on the sidewalk. In the past GTA games, you only see NPCs walking alone, and not in groups. As Jason and Lucia drive in the opposite direction- Yo, that's actually true. We never seen, uh, like, a group just walking together as a friend or, you know, friends or... Yeah, that's actually very, very good. Holy. Two squads speed past them. One is driving the current highly used Ford Explorer model, while the other is in the old Ford Crown Victoria, which still lingers around in bigger cities and training academies. The overturned van on the highway and the unmarked Dodge Challenger are commonly seen in the southern part of Florida. Lucia wears an ankle monitor in the artwork, suggesting that parts of the map may be restricted early on. Each Yay. beach hut or lifeguard hut has a roof that resembles a piece of fruit, pineapple chunk, lemon, lime, and orange. Jason has a scar on his chin from shaving. New so Dang. And, uh, they might not even call him Jason though. It might be Jasony, guys. Click on this video on the screen because we got news on the GTA 6 trailer number two. We have pre-order news, release date news. A lot of leaks are going around. Click on this video on the screen, and I will see you right there. Check this out, my.